Royal you family. Today on Passport Kings, we're ripping our visas to shreds. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Bom dia. Well, we're not exactly ripping them, but if you're traveling to Brazil around the time of the Olympics, you won't need them. The 2016 Summer Olympics will be held in Brazil, and for up to about 90 days, you won't need your visa. Yes, the U.S. passport is one of the most powerful when it comes to travel. But when it came to traveling to Brazil, we also needed a travel visa. But this summer, we are now in luck. Yo, because in hopes of drawing as many people to the country as possible for the 2016 Olympics, being held in Rio de Janeiro between August 5th and the 21st, Brazilian officials have announced that they are temporarily waiving visa requirements for travelers in the country between June 1st and September 18th. In addition to U.S. tourists, the visa waiver also applies to passport holders from the countries of Japan, Canada, and Australia. Has Brazil gone mad? Nah, they're not mad at all. It's just common sense if you think about it. And it's a well-designed tourism approach. Because right now, Brazil's economy is actually in a real deep recession. And an increase in travelers will both loosen their tight wallets of people coming in and out of the country, and it'll give the entire country a much needed financial boost. The Brazilian tourism minister, Henrique Eduardo Alves, feels this three month initiative will motivate interested tourists and they can make a boatload of money from those tourists. He said that the goal is for leisure travelers from those four countries to increase by 20%. Yo, but flights to South America, they've already been on the rise this year. And the Brazilian airline Azul made an all you can fly pass available in the country as another incentive to visit. Normally, Getting to Brazil took a few hoops to jump through. U.S. citizens still had to make an appointment at their nearest Brazilian consulate. They had to arrive with a passport and an extra photo, completed application, and a copy of their round trip ticket. And worst of all, they have to cough up fees that could be like $160 sometimes. But for this limited time, you won't have to go to a consulate for a visa. And you can use that extra money for beach clothes, or learning Brazilian Portuguese by clicking the link below. So do yourself a favor. If you have not traveled to Brazil yet, you actually should probably go before the Olympics turn that city upside down. But if you want to save yourself the hassle of getting a visa, make sure you get there during the Olympics. But be aware, when the Olympics goes to any city in the world, the price of regular stuff has a tendency to go up. But why should you care about the money? I'm sure you've been checking out my free book of how to get money online so you can travel more. And if you haven't, the link is right down there in the description. Make sure you follow me on this YouTube page by subscribing and pressing the share button so you can share it with someone else. Come to my website, that's www.passportkings.com. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Be profligate like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.